Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Owen Kermit Trent, and today we're working on washes with ink. Um, go over this step by step. I'll include a reference photo of something I used for help to recreate this one. Um, basically, just washing in some watercolor and then taking pen and ink. Here's my ink and my pen nib. You you might want to use an actual pen because those things can splat <laughs> and splat everywhere. Um, I'll put a link in the description box for that. And then I did a quick little landscape and do the same thing. It's kind of fun. Just really simple. This is so easy. And really, I just used one very simple brush with this whole thing. So one simple brush, the ink, and some color. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials there on Thursdays and traceables that go with the tutorials and traceables that go with my YouTube videos. Um, so check that out. And it's this place where people can go and support my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, for this exercise, um, I'll be using my Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I don't think necessarily you need to use this type of paper for this particular exercise. If you want to use something cheap and expensive, you can do that. Because um, it's not going to be like a lot of wet on wet or, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I go with my paints as I use them. I'm going to use some basic colors today, like grays and some greens. Uh, maybe a red or whatever, who knows. Um, might be using a flat wash brush. This is just like a little cheap half inch from, I don't know, it has no name. I don't know where I got it. It says Germany on it, that's all it says. Whatever brush works for you. I'll be using um, black ink and this calligraphy um, nib here. Um, I had a calligraphy, like a pen. There's pens you can just buy that already have the ink. I had one here, but it's not working. I don't know what's going on. So I'll put a link in the description box for ones that you can get on Amazon you can find. But if, um, this this little fountain pen is going to be not as not as easy if you bought one of those, like almost like a real pen, but it has the fountain pen tip. Um, the one I have is not working, so I had to get use this one. Um, and basically, we just play around with doing this kind of technique. Uh, I actually did an earlier one, just play around with just just washing in color and doing little trees uh, with the ink, you know, and making like a little fence. And that's just kind of fun and simple and easy. You can do that with flowers. Um, I even did a little practice of like how I want my door to kind of have like this kind of really fun whimsical, this is practice paper. See, I use practice paper. It has like whimsical lines and squares, whatever. And, you know, I uh, downloaded some like ideas on, you can go on the internet and just download some royalty free images of doorways and you can just put a topiary in front of it or you know we're not going to get really um bogged down with shadows and painting all we're just having fun with watercolor doing a different technique and so i just already sketched in my doorway and basically you know you can sketch a doorway it's a rectangle right and this one's gonna have a little more ornateness to it so i'll have to move some columns here and then the door will have some panels just like this, I don't know if you can see that. Well, let me use my marker, it might be better. Use my marker. So basically you get a door shape, right? And then you might have some fun columns next to the door. You can do some Grecian columns. Remember the Grecian columns that you can go like this? You could do some of those. <laughs> um, you can look it up with, it has like a little hound's tooth to it. And then you can have some lines going across here, you know. And then you can put like the triangle, what I'm going to do here. And you put little decorative touches. But don't get so bogged down on that type of detail, right? So the door is here and it will have um, some panels. I'm just drawing this kind of fast. Same thing here, the opposite going that way, like an English door and it has a knob in the middle, kind of an old fashioned door. And the topiary is just like this rectangle, I'm sorry. It's kind of a kind of a rectangle, but it's going downward in a V on the bottom here, as you see, at this little stick. And just think of a topiary as a ball, right? Ball, stick a lollipop <laughs> with a little um, uh, container on the bottom. But you know, that's you would sketch that kind of part in, right? And then we can we can work from there. So basically, that's what I'm doing today. That's what you saw, just like that. Voila. Um, I might try and put a traceable up on a new Patreon. I don't know if I'll have time. Today's kind of a crazy day. I'm going to get my new car. 
Yeah, I haven't had a car in 12 years. It's new, and I bought one during Mercury Retrograde, and if you pay attention to any of that stuff, you know, like, probably not a good idea to buy anything really big, purchase during Retrograde, or computers, electronics, because things can go wrong. Well, I'm waiting on a week and a half to get it because of the way COVID is with the uh, registration, and I bought it out of state, so... <laughs> yeah. So, I mean... Um, so the topiary could just be right here, or you could have steps going down. You can just play around with this. It doesn't have to be topiary. It could be like, you know, a big container with a tree, you know, a dwarf spruce or some kind of other funky topiary, or just even flowers, okay? Play around with that. The whole point is just to have fun. I'm going to show you how I just paint in, like, the um, pen and ink with the design. So I'm really just going to go really simple with this. I got this crazy flat wash brush. I'm just going to put in some of that green for the topiary. So just I'm grabbing this green gouache and the green and olive color, both olive green, but one's gouache and one's watercolor. And look, I'm just going to go crazy putting this. See, I'm just moving the brush like, just twisting it. And you get that kind of look of a topiary without having to really paint crazy. See? Look how simple that was. See, I'm just twisting the brush, pushing down on it. La, 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 la. The paint's not super watery. It's just watery enough. Da, da, da. You just guys can play around with some crappy brushes. You never know what you can make with it. And there you go. And you get that, like, technique. Was that the hardest topiary you've ever done? I don't know. I don't think so, right? Um, and then you can do, like, the branch that goes down. We're getting really loose here because we're going to do some pen and ink over it. Oh, not pen, you know, ink wash. So I just do a brown little branch. And then, you know, your container could be a color, whatever you want to do. Um, some of black, some of gray. So it could be, you create whatever you feel like it makes you feel like I want to do that color. Um, I thinking because I might do the, the doorway of the thing gray or beige, I might change that. You know, I have a reference photo where the photo is like white and I don't want to do white. White's boring. And you, know, you guys don't have to do the colors that you see in reference photos. That's the whole point. You're supposed to take things and change them up. So I'm thinking, well, the green, the blue. I think I'm going to paint the doorway before I even think about what I'm going to paint the topiary. So I know I'm going to do gray on the outside. I was playing around with that. And I have this black gouache that I'm watering down. You can use black paint watercolor or make it black or brown or beige, whatever you feel like you're doing. I'm watering this down. I'm just using this brush and I'm going to make a gray door. No, 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 no. You want to do a gray door or a color door? I think I'm going to do a gray outside of this, like I showed in my sketch. I'm just using this brush flat like that to cover the areas that you saw in my sketch. See? I love how it just kind of like the when you use it different ways, like holding it different ways. See, it's like skinny. Look how cool that is. And then you can wash in if you push down on it that way. You got the color. It has that like stone look, right? Like it's some ancient Greece kind of column. And I'm just kind of loosely putting it around. I don't, I'm not really concentrating on like, is it pushed? If the color is incorrectly, if it looks correct, no. Just putting the color in. So I'm, as I'm painting the gray, see, I do this, I do my tutorials in real time. I'm still trying to think about what I want the topiary um, pot color to be. Do I want it maybe terracotta? No. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. Right? So I'm still going to leave that for a minute. It's putting this gray color down. Just really simple putting that color right in there. See? And then you get the doorway. Topiary, what why am I gonna make that color? I don't know. Black? It seems so harsh, right? It seems so mean. Why would I want to do that dark dark gray? It's not pretty. You know, sometimes it's good to take a scrap. This is another trick. And go right here and stop playing on colors and see I'm gonna make make a terracotta and see if I like that. So I'll do like a little orange terracotta color over here. Do I want a terracotta color? That could be nice, right? Plays nicely with those colors. It's not being mean. <laughs> we don't want to do a gray, because watch, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put the same 
piece of paper and I'll go over here and I'll do dark gray. And I'll think to myself, what was it going to mean sad colors? I mean, it looks okay, but it's not fun, right? Or I can just go ahead and take the scrap. I might do blue. So I have some blues up here. Let me get an indigo kind of tone or ultramarine. Let's see if blue looks nice. Blue looks nice, but then I think what, because I want to do some decorative elements with the pen and ink, then you're not going to see it. So we're doing terracotta, guys. See, that's how I come up with things sometimes. That's the way to do it. So here we go. I'm going to put that like terracotta kind of color in there. Just kind of wash that in real quick. This is a little more browner than I had in this little sample that I just showed you. I could add a little more orange to it. Just to brighten it up. See, and just really putting this in pretty quickly, not giving it much thought. Boom, topiaries are in, right? The doorway. Um, I was thinking of a red doorway. I might still do that. So I have the magenta and I'll put some yellow in here. I'll get a nice red color. I don't want it too bright. All right. Because we can still do a little design on the color there. Just want to put that right in there. It's going to be a red door. Like I said, you don't have to follow any particular thing that you find on the web. You see that, like some really cool ornate doorways. Don't feel like you have to follow exactly how it looks in the photograph. It's just giving you an idea. See, we're building it up there. Got that red doorway. I'm going to go back in this little triangle here, a little bit darker gray. I'm going to put a wash in of a darker gray. Really simple, nothing too fancy. We're going to let the pen, the ink pen, do all the fun. You know, the base, this is the basic. And then maybe put down some gray down here on the bottom some gouache in the gray and by the pots. It doesn't feel like it's floating kind of, right? Just put a little gray like it's a stone street. Just added some water. I'm just going to wash that color in a little bit. Still using this just cheap old flat wash brush. Nothing fancy schmancy, right? You can get a little bit darker if you wash at this point. And if you have that paper that's not expensive, don't fret about this wet on wet wash area. Uh, that's a little too dark, but that's okay. I can go and fix this one too. Put this a little darker here, the shadow from the topiary. But we're not really concentrating on that, right? If you want to get a little fancy schmancy, you could take your grays, get a little medium tone gray. We already put that light one down. Take this brush, hold it on the side, and kind of just put in a nice little medium gray on the side there, maybe up top here, right? You can run one across the bottom. But really, we wanted to, the, the, the ink to do the talking. I'm going to go back in here and a little darker gray. And the topiary, I'm going to put in a little couple of, to make a little gray wash right down here and here. And the topiary, I'm going to add a little bit darker greens. Oh, my little, see what happened? That water got in there, wrecked my little topiary pot. I'll just go and fix that. And you know what? If it did that, who cares? It's still kind of quaint. I'm going to add another orange wash in there. So that topiary tree, I'm just going to grab some darker blue, mix in with that green, some brown, red. We're going to get this dark brown color. 
I'm going to tap it on the paper towel and I'm just going to tap, 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 kind of on the edge. Just to get, see, I'm just moving this brush around like that. See how I'm just, do, 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 do. It just creates those leaves. Get a little bit darker if you want. That one side. All right. And then the topiary again, I'm gonna do another value a little bit darker of that terracotta, pretty orange. Kind of on the same premise that I'm doing here. Kind of have it on this side. See there's a shadow coming this way. And I made the dope topiary kind of like the sun was coming this way. But we're gonna go and make it even. I'm gonna go back and fix that. So I'm gonna make this. Oops. A little bit darker on this side. Also. The sun should be coming this way. I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. So we'll get really dark on this side then. Do, 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 do. So it makes more sense. Sorry guys if I screwed you up. <laughs> you can always do what I do. That's how you fix things. I'll take your brush, dab on the area you just painted, grab a paper towel and lift it up. And that will lighten it. So I'm going to go right over here. Just go right in that section. This is a way you can fix this. And lift it up. And now it's light where it's supposed to be. Right? Now it makes sense. We fixed the problem. Not a big deal. Go back in and add this little dark shadow on this side. And on the bottom. Boom! Don't you love when you can fix that? And now we're going to do the same thing with the red. We're going to add a little bit darker shadow in those little panels. Make my red color again. La, la, la. Just gonna use the brush and just kind of push that color in just by going like this with the brush. You know, use the brush to your advantage. It's a flat brush. You can make these flat panels just by painting this way. Just a simple stroke. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's like we're dancing, right? Da, 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 da. This got a little washed out because of this gray here. Not funny. It's the gray. I'm just going to put some more color in here. Okay. And fix this up here. All right. That's kind of it right now. And now we're going to let it dry and then we're going to start playing with the ink. Alrighty. As you can see the corner over here, I have a reference of the, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to try and put the reference that I used, um, to create this. It's, this is the one I picked out this, this, uh, doorway kind of thing, but you see how it doesn't even look the same. I just kind of use it as a reference. I don't have the same columns. I'm probably not going to draw the same columns. My door is going to be a little different. That's what you do. You take royalty free references and you kind of doctor it up. So. Now I'm going to take the ink I see uh, you, if you're smart, you'll buy one of those pens. Cause this is, this is a little tricky, this little guy, you know, and we're just going to draw on top of it. So we're going to go look at that scratchy noise. Makes like a nice scratchy noise. <laughs> see that just go right over where those, and this pen the old fashioned quill kind of pens makes really thin lines and thick lines, depending on how you push down on it. And I'll get the little doorknob here. We'll fix that later. So I'm just kind of drawing over those areas that I painted. So reference is good. So I had a reference of like the type of doorway. I like that 
triangle kind of thing. It's not going to be like exactly like that because I didn't draw exactly like that. I'm making mine a little different. So I'll go across them here. And I like the goofy elements that I did in my little practice one. So I don't have that in the, the reference, but I have to create it. This noise is fun, isn't it? And I'll show you what I'm going to create. So in the reference, it doesn't show this, but it shows like these little tooth hound type of situation. I want to make fun kind of decoration. So I'm doing this. I mean, it's obvious not in the door, but I want to put it there, right? I could do the tooth hound here if I wanted to. And then I can put another line here. I'm going to make it my own in my own way. And that's how I'm going to do this. And that's what makes it unique when you add your own touches to it. Right? Go back in here and I'll just fill in certain areas that I like. And don't worry about being inside the lines, outside the lines. I want you to have fun with this. I'm going to go in here and then write the little tooth like in the photo. Oops. That's what's so fun about this. It's so goofy. So you can do the line on the outside. I'll do a line on the inside panel. Again, another double line. Oops, see? You're going to have a little splotch right there. That's why these pens are a nightmare and a really good one doesn't do this. Um, would be much better. It's kind of like actually drawing with a, a pen pen. Now if you don't have, if your stuff isn't completely dry, it's going to bleed on the paper. It's a little bleed in here. I guess it, I thought it was dry, but it wasn't. And for the topiary, we're just going to make these little, see, na, 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 these little marks, kind of like little upside down U's going all over the place to indicate that it is a little topiary tree. Right, and then you just put a line down here. It's like basically an illustration. More than a a painting per se. And I'll just go down here. Like I said, you know, don't get all bogged down about straight lines. I don't actually even like straight lines. You can, oh, look at that mistake. <laughs> Pay no attention to that. Unlike watercolor. That's going to stay. That's okay, guys. It's just all in the tutorial. And I'll just add that out in Photoshop and you'll never know what happened. <laughs> Real-time tutorials. So you kind of don't want that to happen to you. That's why I'm saying you want to get those pens. Um, you want to have a glob of ink. It's already in the pen itself. So if you have this, this is fine, but you don't want to do that. I'm going to, like I said, leave a, a link to the pen so you don't have to deal with the situation and go through all this work and then, oh no, oh no, it's a blob. So here, I'm going to make my little columns, right? See, I went up and down like that. I created my own little kind of Grecian kind of column. Even though there isn't one kind of in this picture, it's a different type of columns. I don't know if I remember taking those classes in school and learning about the Ionic and the other ones. But I just want to create my own kind of fun doorway. You can actually do this to like take a photograph of the, your own house door if you have a nice ornate door. Um, not everybody does, but then you can put the number in your house. And you can use that for like stationary, It'd be kind of pretty. I'll go like this. And put another one coming out here. I'm trying to make it as ornate and kind of fun as possible. And this is just a fun little exercise to do. Right? Doesn't seem like it took that much work, but it's really creative. So we go back into the topiary and do all those little little leaves. You can spend a day doing this. I'm doing it pretty fast. 
Now for the pots. See, I got a little blurb there again, too. Pay no attention to these <laughs> marks that I did here. Um, do the same kind of scallop bottom. I'm going to play around with pattern here. I'm going to play around with pattern. So I'm going to give the terracotta pots some kind of fun pattern. And you can do the same. I mean, I'm used to making patterns, so I'll be used to be, you just make like a squirrel, another squirrel, and then you could put little leaves, right? And it could have a nice little fun pattern to it. Just give it some ornateness, if that's even a word. So this is a way to kind of just get you warmed up to doing this kind of technique with the ink wash, I mean the wash and then the ink over it. And I don't think this took much time. I can go in and fill in a little doorknob because I want that black, right? And at this point you could wash in the color around the doorway or just leave it like this, which is kind of fun and cute. Um, like I said, pay no attention to that bottom area. <sighs> I will edit that. <laughs> but um, I would suggest practicing a little bit first. Where's the one I showed you guys? I think I showed you one that was a landscape. Oh goodness, people. Um, I could practice on something like this. A little bonus for you. So listen, this is so easy. You take the same little crazy ass, crazy brush. Sorry, excuse me, I didn't say that, but crazy brush. And this is how you make a little landscape. See, you just twist it around for like a tree. Boop, boop, boop. This is a bonus one for you guys. Twist it around, trees. All right, can add some brown in here. Brown, go across from the land. Put the brown in here, a little bit of orange and yellow. Get a bit darker blues, kind of back here for greens. It's like a little vignette. Even darker blue here. Look how fast this, this is, you know? You gotta try and do things really fast sometimes and it just creates a whole new look. I'm just going up like that and then adding the trees again. And when this dries, you can add in all the pretty ink. I'm gonna get some yellow in here. See, I'm just twisting it, twisting that little skinny fun brush. Go in and add some other color here. A little bit of black. And it's a little too harsh. I would have done blue or something instead. But that's okay. Sometimes it's good to put like a nice dark color in. I probably would have done blue. And just dab in some of that up in here. All right, so we get this simple, like, fast design. I can go in again. I might lift up some of this yellow and add more green. Actually, I love doing this with the paper towel. Sometimes we get this nice texture. See how you like that? You get this nice little texture. And you can go back in and add a nice bright, pretty green. And then a little brown back here. Play around with that. Okay, so I'm gonna dry that and come back. So we dried that. That's all good. I'm gonna just take our ink pen again. Just be careful with the splotches. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be very careful this time. And we're gonna make like little trees. So we're gonna just go straight down like this and then put the, the branches coming off just like that. Where all the greenery is. And you can make the trunks a little bigger or smaller. It's always fun to use different mediums. 
I'll put a little fence. It's a broken fence. If you could draw a house back here or something, or you can paint the little cottage and do the same thing. You could have fun with this all day long, and then you can write nice cool words. You know, missing you, wish you were here. I would practice with this. This is like a little scrap I did here, and you know, you're putting in the little tree branches, peeking through, put some out here in the background. The ink is fun to use. You could use a micron pen also, but it won't have that thick and thin look that the ink does with the the nib, the calligraphy nibs. Just like that. A little fence. And you go really tiny tree branches. I can probably draw these all day long. It's very like therapeutic actually to draw that. All these little branches. See how simple that little landscape was? It's kind of cool, right? You could put little grasses. Just like that. This would be a really great simple card to do. Just another idea about using the uh, ink. See? Two little things. Like I said, pay no attention to the ink blobs. <laughs> but um, it was fun, right? Pretty easy. So just give you nothing, something different to do. Nothing. I'm, I don't know what I'm saying today. My brain is just messed up. Um, you know, to play with watercolor. And it was pretty simple to do this. You just washed in the color, and then you just go over it with the ink, and it has a really cool look to it. You could take a photograph of your house and do this. It'd be kind of fun, right? You just wash in the colors and draw in all the other pieces. And it doesn't have to be perfect, and I love this, like, imperfected, you know, all the details that are kind of, like, thick and thin. That's what makes it so unique and has a style to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. They're kind of sporadic. And uh, check out my Patreon where I have traceables that go with YouTube videos. Not every single video, but most of them go that I recently anyway that's for sure and then on Thursdays I have um, exclusive tutorials with traceables there and it's just a place people can go and support my channel which I appreciate very much um, uh, and you know that's all I can say and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section so take care guys have a great day and I'll speak to you soon